All right, happy Friday, folks. Today we're gonna to be diving into Bitcoin, taking a look at the bull and the bear scenarios here. We're gonna start out on the macro four day time frame. We're gonna work our way down to the one hour time frame. We're gonna do this in about under 10 minutes here. So it should be pretty quick, fast, and simple. If you're in the US, then happy Black Friday. It's one of my favorite days to uh, load up on all the annual sales and subscriptions across the board. We've got TraderSync, my favorite trading journal that's got up to 65% off. We've got TradingView with 70% off right now. And then we've got three commas with 50% off. And of course, you've got the New Wave Academy that's 70% off for today only as well. So definitely check those out. I'll do a breakdown at the end of the video on the New Wave Academy sale, what the offer is, and the bonuses that are included for today's sale as well. But let's go in and get into the good stuff here with Bitcoin, you guys, first and foremost. We're going to be taking a look at the four-day time frame and look at that bigger, broader potential for the bull market altogether. So there's a couple scenarios here. Well, one is that we're moving up correctively to a new all-time high. And that's overall, that's actually my bias. Uh, and that looks like a WXY, so I'll show that here. That's what this count basically looks like. So this is where right now we're at a major resistance zone at 40K and then 48K. These are our two supply zones in this range where the most buying took place before the selling dominant move towards the downside. And so it's typical for us to find resistance there. There is one pathway that will just squeeze right through this and we'll know over the coming week or maybe two weeks even uh, whether or not we're gonna be able to squeeze through it. But I think it's probably more likely that we do scale sideways here uh, and we move up in another three wave move like this. So that means that we're looking at down on the smaller four hour time frame here if I zoom in, we're actually looking at a running flat scenario here where we get another high and we're at a double top right now. I think we'll probably be able to push through and hit that target that I'm looking for right at about 39 to 39.3 K. That's my expanded VTOC pocket there. Gives us a new high, it prints a uh, 16 hour bear divergence and then we pull back again creating a running flat. Now, these running flats are very popular. In fact, you can see them especially in an uptrend. They're the most popular type of correction that we get. And that is simply where we create the double top or the slightly new high. We take the liquidity right above that high and then we pull back and we put in a higher low. And so that's that ascending channel type of formation that we get here. And I'm basically just predicting that we're gonna do the same thing up here as well. Where we create that new high, we pull back, create the higher low, and then we make another pivot towards the upside. But we're starting to move on to higher time frames now. So the market, smaller time frames always lead into higher time frames. And so we've watched as the four hour um, trend has moved into an eight hour trend, into a 16 hour trend. And now we're dealing with a 16 to daily type of correction. And when I say that, I'm talking about the TDI indicator down here that when this indicator pulls back to the 40, 50 zone, these are buy opportunities in an uptrend. And as you can see, the 16 hour has pulled back here where we picked up some, and then this second pull back here where we started trading some altcoins over uh, focusing on Bitcoin. And now, as you can see with the TDI coming up, it's likely that we're gonna print that bear divergence. All right, here's my previous high all the way back here. And we're already at a double top slash almost a new high, which means that the TDI hasn't moved quite nearly as fast. And so the momentum is starting to lose on it, which prints a bearish divergence. Now I'm not too concerned about bearish divergences in an uptrend um, because they quickly reset. So if you take a look at these bear divergences back here, even between this peak here and this one here, when we pulled down, look at the hidden bull divergence that printed on the TDI, right? We made a new low on the TDI and price made a higher low. And that is my favorite type of signal in an uptrend is the hidden bull divergence for getting back in and trading with the trend, okay? And so that's the same thing that I'm projecting over here. Price will likely drop back down and probably go underneath 40 on the 16 hour time frame, which would give us hidden bull divergence between the A and the C wave here. And then we'd seek continuation back up, which would find a rejection in the 60, 70 zone and print bear divergence between the two highs again, okay? And this is basically how we step up into higher time frames. Now we move into the daily time frame next. And when the 16 hour time frame pull the TDI pulls down underneath 40, the daily is gonna find support at the bullish pocket. And that is perfect for what we wanna see in a daily uptrend. And that would be this market, the crypto market altogether, moving into a daily uptrend. But then the daily time frame is going to have to correct. And that would be this leg over here or some sort of a sideways uh, market over here that we draw back to 30K. And that will lead us into our next question or scenario when we go back up onto the higher time frame. So if I just go ahead and take off the one, the, the four hour time frame here, and we go back up to the four day, right? That this is the area that we're just in taking a look at, right? There's that stair stepping effect where we basically consolidate at resistance between 40 and 48K. 
That's, that's the ideal scenario that I wanna see here. The other option is that we end up drawing back down to that 30K level. Anything that draws down to that 30K level is perfectly fine for continuation of an uptrend. It's when we start to break underneath that that things start to flip a little bit more bearish. And so that's gonna bring us into our bearish scenario here. The bearish scenario is going to be that we're dealing with an ABC, get rid of this WXY there, an ABC bear market rally. All right, we've had this huge downtrend and now we're correcting that downtrend, simple as that. And if we find too much selling pressure here and we can't convince more market participants to buy Bitcoin at this level, then it causes sellers to have to seek buyers out at lower levels, simple as that. So we can't know in advance whether or not we're gonna find enough buyers here. It's just a projection or an assumption as to whether or not they will. And so the way that I like to really navigate it more than anything is letting the market tell me what type of selling pressure comes in here rather than saying that this is it and we're gonna move back towards the downside. I just wanna see how does the market sell here? Are participants convinced to buy Bitcoin in between 30K and 40K here? And if they are, then the data will start to unravel that suggests that we actually can seek continuation towards the upside. But it means that right here, we're probably gonna be in a maybe a month to two month consolidation um, to let that unfold or unravel out. There is one scenario where we do squeeze right through it and I'll share that here um, right after this one. But for now, the bearish scenario is that this is an ABC. It's completed its C-wave structure. We've printed bear divergence inside of the C-wave at this top here. And we're going to see a rejection that moves back towards new lows. And if that's the case, then we're looking for a leg that's going to partner up with this one over here. And that would take us down towards, you know, $12,000 on Bitcoin. I think that's very unlikely, personally. Um, that, that is quite an extreme uh, bear market overall for crypto. And if you historically go back and look at the history of Bitcoin, the bear markets last max of two years. Simple as that. And we've hit our two year mark here for Bitcoin. So it would make sense for this to either be rallying up to new all time highs correctively, just like the S&P 500 did from 2000 to 2009, or we're moving up in a new impulse manner uh, rather than getting rejected here. That's why my bias overall is that we will consolidate over 30K and we will continue to move to new all time highs. So, but at the end of the day, let's see what the market has to tell us here in regards to the selling pressure that comes in. Probability flips towards this bearish count when we drop underneath the previous high back here, which is $30,000. And it 100% invalidates any sort of an impulse towards the upside if we take out the previous low down here at 25.8K. So for me, my macro um, spot trades that I picked up over here and even some here and here, all of those have been raised to my stops right back over here. Okay, these are long-term holds and uh, and then swing trades and long-term holds that we accumulated down here all together. All together, my average entry on this is sitting right about $19,000 or so. So I'm sitting very healthy in that manner. If I had no skin in the game at all, I would definitely be looking for drawbacks towards 30K to uh, buy into this market. And for me, I'm looking to size up on drawbacks in this range here, all right? So that's my overall plan and yeah, at the end of the day, you just have to be okay with whether or not we're going to be wrong about that. And we know that we're wrong if we come back down underneath $25,000 a month. So let's go over to the bull scenario here, uh, because the bull scenario is the one that you're going to see probably being preached across the board uh, in the crypto markets from all the, uh, you know, bulls right now. And there is a valid argument for it. And that is simply that we're moving up as an impulse. So an impulse looks like this. You can see how much faster this moves in my green WXY path. So the green path right here is my bias. That's how I think we're going to move. But we have the potential here in the short term to move as what's called a 1-2-1-2 impulse. And these 1-2-1-2 impulses create overextended third waves that move up to 2.618 extension instead of the 1.618. And this would actually take us to a new all-time high with the fifth wave roughly hitting a 3.236 extension, right around $80,000. And I wouldn't be surprised if we get a little bit more of an extension up towards 100 to $115,000 uh, possible as well, depending on the amount of FOMO that comes into the market. So this is the impulse wave. I'm going to get rid of the WXY here so that we can just talk about this. The big difference between the impulse here and the green WXY is the amount of time that we spend right here. First off, the yellow wave two should not take longer than the primary wave two did back here. So we definitely know that the longer we extend out in time, the more likely this scenario here is a B or an X wave. And we're moving up in that green path, which is the bias that I have rather than this impulse. But if we move up with the yellow, we should have a pretty quick drawback. And then this move right here should extend upwards very fast because at that point we're dealing with the third wave. So we're in the third wave of a third wave, which is the biggest, fastest, strongest move that you could possibly ever want in an uptrend. And it's definitely the one that you want to capitalize and take advantage of as well. So 
that's where a lot of the excitement, I would argue, comes in on Bitcoin right now, rather than us just moving up correctively. And so that's why I also think corrective is the better way, is because from a, a time standpoint, we'll probably wash out a lot of hands if we take our time going sideways here. But if the narrative is correct in the market and we can create the excitement and get people to FOMO in, well, that creates a reason for people to market order. And market orders are the only thing that move a market because they fill the limit orders on the order book. Simple as that. So what's, what's the reason, the justification that we can get people to just market order into Bitcoin or into you know altcoins and crypto in general? So and an impulse would certainly uh, get people excited and move towards that. So that's the, the bullish narrative that's being preached right now, you guys, and across the board. Everything comes down to in the smaller one hour time frame that running flat, a new high right at about 39.39.3k there, and then a pullback. And that pullback is where everything starts to shift and our inflection points come into play. Do we stay above 30k? Do we get rejected hard and come underneath 30k and flip the probability towards the bears? I think the likelihood is that we're going to stay in an uptrend, whether that's moving correctively or moving as an impulse. And the ultimate ways that I'll be looking to take advantage of this will be simply longs towards the upside with stops underneath the previous low, and just like this. And the risk to reward ratio for my overall targets here is going to put me at a five uh, to one. And it'll be 119% move to get us to about 70, 73,400 bucks. Um, and the stop loss on this is about 20 to 23% there, okay? So as always, not financial advice. This is just my perspective on the market using the new wave system and you know allowing you guys to see if that's a good fit for you. If you wanna learn how to navigate this market, then the new wave Academy is the place to go and jump into. And this is the best deal of the year that's going on for it right now as well. All right, so that does bring me over um, since we've got clarity here on Bitcoin overall. Um, it does bring me into talking about the New Wave Academy. So first off, you can go to the link down in the description below and it'll bring you to my Linktree page here and it'll just be the first tab on my Linktree page and that'll bring you to this site here, okay? And we're doing 70% off on this right now. So altogether, it's only 300 bucks rather than a thousand that we normally sell it at here. Um, so best deal of year overall. What you're gonna get in this is a total of six, seven modules. And the first one is all about creating change. So. The big thing here, you guys, is that I've spent over $200,000 on self-development. Uh, I'm really big on it, okay? I've gone through uh, the Tony Robbins Platinum Program, which was $86,000 just to get into that, and then up charges from there for other events that I went to. And Joe Dispenza, I've gone to so many of his events, really gotten big into meditation, mastering the mind, and creating lasting change overall. And so I've taken all of that information and my own experience with it of what's worked and what hasn't, and I've put it and simplified it in this module here. So tons of value in this module alone. Um, you know, I, I'll, I'll leave it at that. So number two is just the foundation technical analysis. So basically I catered this to, if everybody's brand new and has never done trading before, I got you covered. Like this, you don't need to be experienced. I do go through the basics. I do show you how to set up the exchanges and the accounts and everything like that, okay? Then we dive into the actual trading psychology. Trading psychology and self-development uh, are two different things because trading psychology, we need like a backwards thinking, like normal thinking doesn't work in the markets. And so we need different beliefs and, uh, and processes to kind of navigate the markets. And that's what trading psychology is all about, okay? And then this is how to implement change. So it's about how to actually, and this will impact your regular life as well, right? Like how much, what other things do you wanna create changes in? Losing weight, being more disciplined, all that stuff. This is th that module for you guys that's taken me over $200,000 in uh, the last 10 years um, to really master and get down, okay? Then we go into four, which is three frame method. So this is all geared towards getting results faster. So instead of having to master the entire program to start trading, which take you know that would take more time than just getting you some sort of a result in the beginning. I know how important it is for you guys to see results and that what module four is all about. It's just taking a very step-by-step -step process and saying, hey, this is step-by-step -step what I want you to do uh, without needing to know all the whys behind it just, okay? So that you can start implementing that quickly. Module five, now we get into the new wave method. This is where we're actually gonna pull together four components. Um, it's a little bit thicker material here altogether, but you're really gonna understand the, the why and not just the how um, of this system and how I've put it together, okay? And this all comes with PDFs and cheat sheets, so it's all very step-by-step. -step. Like, in other words, I've created infographics with step-by-step -step, um, instructions on them so that you can just print those out, put them on your desk, and basically you can go there and say, okay, money maker strategy. Step one, two, three, four, five. Have I met those five conditions? Look at the screen, yes, they've met. 
enter trade, okay? I go over where to put your stop loss, where to put your entry, DCA into your entry, and also how to DCA out of the trade. So take profit zones, okay? Then you got skimmer method here. This is a methodology on creating a pattern. Uh, for coming to the computer. So in other words, like come to the computer and do the same steps and the same thing every single day so that you create consistency in your trading. That is the number one key uh, to creating reliable results is that your actions are consistent because in trading, everything revolves around probability, okay? And probability, you can't create probability if your variables are different. And in trading, that's your actions. So if you're always throwing in different thought processes, if you're throwing in different beliefs, if you're throwing in different technical um, instruments, all of those variables create inconsistency in your results and you don't have, you can't rely on anything in the markets. And so you eventually get kicked out and you can't last for the long term. Okay. And then we've got some bonuses here, you guys. I've got the custom new wave screener and TDI indicator. All right. So that's going to be in there. That's pretty cool stuff. And then the 30 days of the free group coaching. So I've got a group coaching discord that's only available to New Wave Academy students. So you cannot get into this unless you purchase the academy. And the reason that I've done it that way is because I want everybody to, again, have consistent variables in their trading to create consistency. Well, discords get really noisy with a bunch of different technicals, right? They're all over the place. Hey, look at this RSI. Hey, look at this, you know, money indicator. Look at this, blah, 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 right? And that impacts your way of thinking. You've got breakout traders and you've got reversal traders and they require two different types of psychology, okay? Uh, and if you're mixing that all up together, it creates a lot of inconsistency in your trading. So this helped filter all that out. We speak the same language. We do the same exact strategies, right? And so we can all help each other because what we're posting is congruent with what we're doing. So I can go in and look, you know, sign into the Discord and I'll see three, four different moneymaker strategies from the students. And I'll be like, oh, hey, now we're actually benefiting each other because we're filtering out which assets in the market are doing good or not doing good, which ones have our setups and our strategies on them. Um, and overall, that creates really consistent results and maximizes the leverage of being able to capitalize on good assets in the market as well. And then the third one here is a private onboarding call with me. First off, I'm very passionate about helping people. And so I want to meet you. I want to know what your goals are. I want to see you face to face. And that's what the onboarding call is about. Um, and it, it allows me to help personalize the program to you a little bit as well. So if I can get to know what your routine looks like, what your time availability looks like, um, you know, understanding some of your life routines and habits and character traits, all that stuff I pick up on and I can help personalize the best way to go about doing this program and, you know, areas where I think you might struggle with or where you might uh, be really strong and do really well. As so that's what the private onboarding call is. And hopefully I look forward to meeting you and getting to learn what your goals are as well. Okay. And then we've got all the testimonials. I've got collected over 600 testimonials too, which you can um, take a look at as well by just clicking on the 600 student testimonials here. Um, but really great things that people have had in their experiences inside of the New Wave Academy. And I know that I feel very confident that you can have that same experience as well. All right. So that's everything. And then on top of that, I'm going to be throwing in a 30 day money back. So if for whatever reason you go through the program and you're just not happy with it, you're just like, you know what? Uh, I don't feel like I got $300 worth of value out of it. You just email support at tradethewave.com and we'll take care of it and give you a full refund, no questions asked. Simple as that. But I feel very confident that you're never going to need to be able to use that um, and you're going to be blown away by the amount of information and applicable steps that are in this. So that's everything. Hopefully you guys take advantage of it. Again, the sale is only good for today. Uh, it ends tomorrow. So definitely jump in there, take advantage of it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Much love, fam.